All right, guys, this is our DJI RoboMaster S1 educational robot unboxing video. We do a lot of cool stuff here at the Co. in Jackson, Tennessee, and we want to let folks know about it. All right, so this is just the stuff that's in the top of the box. Um, you got some paper targets, stuff like that for games with your robot, and then you've got your robot assembly instructions. Yeah. We're right here. We're getting our unboxing started. There's two eggshell cartons. Um, the first one has your wheels, your front bumper, your battery, tools, circuit board, motors. So the second tray has your turret, your camera, the sensors that go on the sides in front of your robot, your rear bumper, and your chassis. So as you're pulling everything else out of the box, um, go ahead and get your battery on the charger. That way you can play right away when you're finished. Um, as we're taking all these things out, we're just trying to keep all of our tools together, everything that's gonna go with wheel assemblies together, all the electronic stuff together, so cords, things like that are together, um, all of the chassis parts together, battery charger together as well. This is your speaker slash mic. These are the side panels that hold your sensors for your robot laser battles. This is your skid plate, basically protects the bottom of your robot. These are the plastic damping ring brackets. Um, as you can see right down there in the middle, there's rubber damping rings that slide right onto them. These little guys, they look like rollers. Um, they're part of your wheels. They do give you extra. These are the drive motors for the wheels. The metal brackets over to the left are part of that assembly as well. This is a little plastic piece that basically helps you organize all your wires. Um, there's another piece in there. You can see it to the top of the middle of the screen there. It's part of the suspension. These are all of your electrical cords. Longest cord, you've only got one of them. Second longest cord, you've got two of them. There are four of these guys. And one of these. This is the power cord for your battery charger. These are your safety goggles. We didn't need them during the build process. This is your controller module. It's the brains of your robot. It has two antennas. They do have uh, built-in flexibility, but they will break off. All right, guys, enough with the unboxing. We're now gonna start getting into our build. Um, this piece actually works to help you build your wheels, which is the first step of the robot. There are two sides to it, um, so keep that in mind. There are also two different types of wheels on the robot. Um, you're gonna start by greasing each joint. Um, DJI gives you a little grease packet and you're just gonna put a little grease in each hole. These are your rubber dampening rings. They have a plastic dampening bracket. You're gonna wanna line that little arrow up with a red um, socket. And that's your inner and outer sections of the wheel. There's a little notch when you're putting those two sections together. You're gonna wanna line that up with the arrow as well. So that red socket, the little arrow, and that little notch in the wheel assembly are all gonna go together when you fit those together. There are two different directions of wheels. You are gonna have to flip that black piece over to complete each different direction. Once you've got all the rollers in there, you're gonna take that outer rim, well, it's really the inner rim, and you're just gonna slide it into place and it should pop into place. One of them kind of sinks down into the right, the other kind of sinks down into the left. Once that inner rim pops into place, you're gonna go ahead and put your screwdriver together. You're gonna use your T2 screws to screw those rims into place. So we're starting to work on the chassis, getting into actually building this. That is a wire harness. It just kind of snaps in at first. There is a T2 screw that goes right in the middle of it that you screw down inside. Um, when we flip the chassis back over, those are T3 screws that are going in there. There are six of them. So we're starting to assemble the front end suspension. Um, it's going to use T3 screws for the actual big block itself. When that small X piece goes in, you're going to switch to M3A screws. Once you've got your front suspension in, you're going to install your circuit board. There's a plug right there in the middle that it goes into. You know that you've got it oriented right if the largest plug is over on the left side of the robot, and then you're just going to slide it into place. Once you've finished putting in your circuit board, you're going to pick up your side sensors and the side plates. Um, you're going to screw those in with M3As and you're going to get Q3 wires. The wires go on to the flat side and the side panels need to be oriented with their largest wheel well towards the back of the robot. Next, you're going to flip that over. Um, your wires are going to go into these little grooves on the bottom. 
Um, they go through either the outermost or the second outermost um, sections of the wire harness. Those Q3s, they are the second longest wire that you have. When they get plugged into the circuit board, the one for the right is going to be the second from the top right corner, and then the one for the left is going to be the top left. Now we're going to start working on the front and back bumpers. You're going to take your sensor, snap it into that back bumper piece. You've got two M3A screws that secure that sensor in. You are going to need a Q4. It's your second shortest cord, and that's going to be plugged into that sensor. After you have the cord plugged into the sensor, you want to find a little notch in that back bumper. Um, you're going to be able to snap that cord into there. There's also a notch in the panel that covers your circuit board. The cord gets plugged into the top right position or top right slot on the circuit board. And then that bumper will go on. There are two hinges that are going to have to be secured. You're going to use M3A screws to do that. There's one screw on each side. The manual that DJI provides actually says to screw the bumper on before you wire. Um, we found it easier to wire the sensor and the, to the circuit board first and then screw on the bumper. Now we're going to start working on the motor assemblies. Um, your motors slot into those metal brackets. Um, there are three screws that go in each. Those screws are M3As. The motor wires are fed kind of weird. Um, you're going to have to feed it through and up. On the front motors, there will be a small little wire harness that they will go through, um, and then they'll be fed down into the middle of the chassis there. The metal brackets will snap into place, and then you can screw them in. One screw will go into the top of the assembly. Two screws will go into the bottom. Once you've got those wheel brackets and motors screwed in, you're going to go ahead and feed those wires into the wiring harness. You can see that we put them on the outside of that wire harness. Um, just snap them in there and then feed them down inside. You're going to flip your chassis over and start feeding them into the wiring harness that's on the underside of that chassis and up into the control board area through a slot that's right there. We're putting them on the third from the outside slot I don't know that it matters which slot they go into, but it just helps for organization. Those wires are both going to be plugged in to the innermost orange slots on the circuit board then matched up with their respective sides. When you add the reel wheels on, there's a notch the wire has to go through. As you snap them into place, remember that. If you don't, the screws aren't going to go in right. There's one screw on top and two screws on the bottom, just like with the front wheels. When you feed this wire, there's a notch on the bottom side that the wire will go through as well. When you snap it into the wiring harness, you're going to loop it so it'll be snapped into the wiring harness in two places, and then you're going to pull it up into the circuit board, and you'll just use the free orange slot on each respective side. When you go to put your wheels on, remember that you have three holes and three pegs. The pegs are on the inside of the wheel, the holes are on the motor. You're going to line those up. You're going to take an M4A screw to screw the wheels on. The angles of the rollers matter for the wheels. Use the diagram 52 in DJI's quick start guide so that you know which way the angles of the rollers are supposed to be for each wheel. Next, you're going to assemble the front bumper. Your sensor snaps into place just like it did with the side skirts and the rear bumper. You're going to use a Q2 cord. It is the longest cord you have. Um, you're using M3A screws to, Q to screw the sensor into place. When you're putting your front bumper on, there are three rubber shock rings. One goes onto the front bumper, two will go onto the chassis. We found it was easier to wire before trying to screw the front bumper on. Once the bumper is snapped on, you're going to use M3B screws in the two holes that are on the front of the bumper. You will use two M3A screws on the top of the bumper. When we wired our sensor, we ran the wire through the center of the top 
wire harness and through the middle of the bottom wire harness. When you're wiring the sensor to the circuit board, refer to step 58 in the quick start guide. It gives you an image of where that sensor needs to be plugged in on the circuit board. Now we're gonna put, start putting the turret on the robot. It has two notches on the base of the turret and then there are two notches in the chassis where that turret fits on. There are four M3B screws for those holes. Continuing with the turret assembly, you're going to slide the speaker onto those guide rails on the bottom of the gun. You're going to push the gun in through the bottom of the turret. There are four screw holes in the middle of that section there. They're going to take four M3A screws. Once you have the gun secured to the turret mount, go ahead and grab the wire coming from the gun and plug it into the lowest socket on the turret mount. Next, grab the control module with the antennas and four M3A screws and secure it to the top of the turret assembly. Next, grab your camera, make sure your text is right side up, and use two M3A screws to secure it. Next, you're going to wire your control module in. You're going to use a Q4 cord, and then you're going to use a Q1 cord, the only one you have, the shortest cord, to wire your camera into the control module. Then you're going to take the audio cord from the speaker and hook it into the control module as well. There are two little plastic clips on each side of the turret assembly that allow you to secure those cords. Continuing on the wiring, you're going to use the two remaining wires you have left. You're going to insert those into the two sockets in the bottom of the turret. You're going to have to flip the robot upside down to do this, and then you're going to feed those down into the same hole you fed all the cords through to get to the circuit board. Next, go ahead and flip your robot over and take those two cords you fed through, snap them into the circuit board. Refer to part 69 in your DJI quick start guide. Now that all the wires are in place, you're going to insert two M3A screws into the holes provided over your circuit board to secure the cover. Once you have the circuit board cover in place, flip the robot over and insert the skid plate. Then screw four M3A screws into each hole of the skid plate and secure it into place. Finally, grab your gel cap clip and slide it into place. Once your battery is fully charged, slide it into that slot right there on the back of the robot and you're good to go. Thanks for watching guys, hope this helped, and battle on!